Hello doctors, have a beautiful day. Today we are looking at the borderline tuberculoid that is a BT leprosy. So the BT leprosy, it is uh, the number of lesions and the type of lesions. It is hypopigmented macule or the plaques. It is variable in number. Variable in number. So this is up to 10 and occasionally it shows finger like finger like extensions so they are nothing but the pseudopodia or the satellite lesions next we are looking at the site of lesions the site of lesions it is uh, involves it is a variable size And there are some lesions, if you see, they are large. Next, looking at the surface of lesion. The surface of lesion, it is um, dry, scaly, infiltrated, but it is less than the tuberculoid leprosy. Next, you look at the sensation. Sensation, if you see, it is markedly diminished. Then moving on to the peripheral nerves. So in case of the PN, that is a peripheral nerves, there is the asymmetrical enlargement of the nervous scene. Next, moving on to the hair. If you look at the hair, it is markedly diminished. Next, looking at the bacteriology. Bacteriology of the split screen smear. So this includes it is a negative or it is scanty bacilli is seen. Next, looking at the typical. Typical lepra reaction. So this is nothing but type 1. Looking at the lepra reactivity, it is weakly positive. Now we are looking at the histopathological findings. So the histopathological findings, it includes fewer tuberculoid granulomas and it also includes the Grenz clear zone. So this is present in the upper papillary dermis and it starts to form the nerves if you see it is replaced by by the granulomas then the fragmented bacilli the fragmented bacilli they are seen with the AFB stain 